Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Thursday the 18th of July at the local media headlines today. Now I did warn you that there would be a lot of noise, if not news, about devolution this week and it's still only Thursday. The King's speech yesterday spoke of an English devolution bill. But we're in Cornwall. And for some, that west of the Tamar distinction will be enough to throw their toys out of the pram and say it doesn't apply. The bill will be open to amendments, so the months ahead provide plenty of opportunity to study the devilish detail. Now, although we're not allowed to debate what Cornwall Council thinks of devolution, we are starting to see increasing calls for transparency about the privatisation of Newquay Airport. Very rarely have the wheels come off a political stitch-up in such an entertaining way. On the toss of a coin, all sorts of things are now going to unravel. It's not just the airport, the Mid Cornwall Metro Railway project, the outsourcing of car park management to a company in Birmingham and a whole host of other measures are going to come under scrutiny like never before. The BBC returned to its obsession with tourism, presumably more concerned about holiday makers than the people who actually live in Cornwall. The rubbish weather recently has encouraged people to vacation abroad rather than visit Cornwall. The Beeb seems to think that this is a bad thing. Greatest Hits Radio said the Boardmasters Festival organisers are giving £115,000 to charity, but that's only a tiny fraction of their profits, which now go to a multinational investment company based in New York. The Falmouth Packet advised readers to watch out for the filming of Songs of Praise. And finally, Cornwall Live had a story about a foul-mouthed parrot. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.